Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this is not one of my normal unboxing videos. This is because a longtime subscriber, actually, probably the my longest time subscriber of my YouTube channel who I've actually interacted with and actually have become friends with because of this channel, so that's awesome. Uh, he sent me a box. Uh, there was something he wanted to send me. I do know what it is, but you will be finding out for the first time, and then I don't want to say too much about it now, although I did say that you know, uh, you don't need to do that. He let me know ahead of time, and I was like, you don't need to do that. Uh, but he really wanted to, and I was like, you know, far be it from me to turn down such a generous gift. And plus, I think it's something awesome, so I'm definitely going to enjoy it. Uh, the subscriber, by the way, I definitely need to say is, at least his YouTube name, Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete, uh, if you've been with my channel, if you've looked at the, in the comments, Uncle Pete actually comments on a lot. He's been around for a long time, so you might know the name. Oh my gosh, this is, it's well taped. Also, the way I'm sitting, it's a little tough to get this done, but I'm getting it. I'm getting there. I'm also trying to do this careful enough that I don't cut myself because, boys and girls, that's important. Don't cut yourself. Okay, so here we go. Box is very long. Ooh, okay. Well, I guess I wasn't aware of everything involved with this. So first of all, I know he said this was kind of just a little throw-in that he did. I'm a big Hellraiser fan. I love the Lament configuration. So he sent me a Rubik's Cube Lament configuration. And this is actually... Well, this is one of the better looking ones, in my opinion. I I got one through uh, some sort of subscription box. I forget which one it was. That looked terrible. It was basically one of these, and it just had like the stickers on it. This is actually like it's a part of it. it it's like colored plastic. So this is cool. I like this. I'll uh you know I'll display it somewhere. Actually, maybe near my um, Nightmares Unlimited replica one, which is amazing. Okay, so here we go. So. If people don't know, In Search of Darkness is a thing. Um, that is a documentary. I'm going to put the server aside. That's a documentary uh, that was done 2019, I think, is when the first one came out. And it's basically like a four-hour documentary about the 80s and horror films in the 80s. And it goes year each year and then talks about kind of the more important horror films from those years and really covers them in depth with some really great interviews. I did a review for it. I think it's a no-spoiler review for it, um, so you can find it on my channel. It was actually a pretty popular review that I did. And they did a second one. They And they do this through, I think it was a Kickstarter thing that they did. They did it for the first one, they did it for the second one, and that's the only way to get these films, especially on, on Blu-ray. So they have, like, packages, like, if you... If you do your Kickstarter, pledge Kickstarter at this level, then you get this. If you pledge it at this level, you get this. So Uncle Pete let me know that he pledged enough to get two of everything at the package level, and he wanted to send that to me. For what I thought is he was just sending me the movie, which in, in and of itself is not cheap. So I really appreciate that, and I really want to see the second one because I haven't seen it. And this is the way I will see it, so I'm excited about that. So I'll go ahead and just show you that first. Ooh, it's very nice. It's very nice. Look at this. It's got like a slip cover too. I didn't expect it to have a slip cover. And Uncle Pete did inform me that one of my favorite horror subgenres is covered in this one, Giallo. So I'm very excited. That looks nice. Let me see. If... Eh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. What else? In Search of Tomorrow, the definitive 80s sci-fi documentary. Okay, they're doing a sci-fi documentary as well, just so people know. That might be worth watch, looking at because there's some horror-related stuff that crosses over into sci-fi. Especially on this, because I see Predator for sure. Robocop. I mean, who doesn't love some Robocop? Yeah, so this looks very much like the cover art for the first... Uh, in Search of Darkness, but just with a two instead of one, instead of none of numbering. Because I assume when they did the first one, they didn't necessarily know they were going to do a second one. But that is, I'm very excited to dig into that. And I think this one is also about like four hours from what I've heard. So he sent me the other stuff too. I thought he was just going to send me that Blu-ray. So Uncle Pete, once again, you didn't need to, man. But at the same time, super cool. Thank you. So here's actually a pin. 
which I do collect pins, as people who've watched this channel know. Uh, and it's an In Search of Darkness 2 pin, which looks nice. I like that. Which is, you know, it's a reproduction of that, so, just so people know. Which is cool. Very nice. I like that. And then some posters. I don't know if I can do these. I didn't know these posters would be in here, but it makes sense because of that. So I can, I'm just going to make room for myself at this point. Okay, I'm going to try to unfurl these to show them and see how that goes. This could be a mistake, though, because I can only stretch them up so high. But let's see. Okay, so basically, okay, so this is the one that just looks like the cover. Oh, actually, it's from the first one. It has an O2 in it. It's just the first one, which looks good. That's super cool. I like that. That's nice. That's real nice. And especially when you start kind of digging into, like, who's... You know what horror faces are in there i like that that's awesome yeah that'll go up i'll get that up at some place and then here's this one there might be a few in this one rolled up oh yeah there are so there's one for part two it looks like i think it is like alternates or something oh yeah mm -hmm. so here's number two so that's for number two which looks good I love that the uh, reanimator serum needle just, like, sticks out so much. Like, big time. Yeah, that looks good. Let's see what the next one is. Ooh. Okay. This is the first time I'm seeing these, obviously. Okay. Yeah, that one's cool. That one's really nice and, like, nostalgic, too. Remembering back to when you would watch movies with your friends on VHS after being at the rental store. Yeah, that's cool. I dig that one. And what is the third variant? Ooh, yeah, that one's cool, too. So that's just, like, the, the cover. Oh, like the other cover. Because there's two pieces of cover art. Okay, those are cool. Um, I don't think I can put all of these up. Well, I mean, I could. But I don't think I will. Um, I think I'll probably put this one... Actually, I can put two of them up. Because this one doesn't necessarily i mean it, it other than this it doesn't necessarily tie to in search of darkness too you know you can disregard that i just think it's a cool visual so i'll probably do that one and this one especially because of the reanimator needle that sticks out but that's awesome uncle pete man you more than outdid it dude like literally when you told me that you were going to send me the blu-ray i thought you were sending me just the blu-ray so I mean, you didn't even need to do that, like I told you in our messaging back and forth. But the fact that you did that and then you did all of this extra stuff, um, thank you. That's super cool. And like I like I said, you didn't need to, but it's very much appreciated. It's very cool. And I need to carve out the time <laughs> to go through this. And one of the things I remember about this is it's segmented very well. So actually, when I talk about carving out the time for it, I probably... I don't even need to do it all at once. It's not like you need to sit down and watch it for a straight four hours. I think that it's fine to just like, honestly, just watch one segment per sitting. Because in the first one, how they did it, it was just like 1980, 1981, 1982. So you can just watch 1980, then stop, come back to it the next day, do 1981, and just kind of savor it in a way. Or just make sure you have time because people are busy. I am as well. Got a lot of things going on. But once again, uh, thanks again, Uncle Pete. You are the man. I don't encourage people to send me stuff. I don't uh, because, you know, I feel bad. I'm one of those people. Like, I like giving gifts to people, but I feel bad accepting gifts uh, unless people are really persistent about it. And I can tell that they really, really, really want to give me the gift. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, but uh, thanks for checking this out. Go ahead and make some comments. How awesome is this? Have you seen In Search of Darkness? Have you seen In Search of Darkness 2? And what are your thoughts between the two films? Which one do you like better? Do you like them the same? Is one better than the other? You know, give me your opinions. Also, what were your best interview or your favorite interviews from the two? You know, like, is it John Carpenter? Is it, I don't think Stephen King's in them. I think Barbara Crampton is, though. She's awesome. But anyway, thanks for checking this out. Put some comments down there. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button if you have not yet because I'm trying to build this nerdy horror community. And if you want to be a part of it, that is how you become a part of it. That way you 
keep coming back and you know when the videos are going up and it's your best way to repay me because I don't make money doing this. I'm just doing putting the content out there. But anyway, thanks for checking that out or this out. I'm getting tired. And until next time, keep it brutal.